The entire world had its eyes on Frogmore Cottage in recent weeks, in eager anticipation of the birth of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first child. But despite the intense interest, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been determined to keep the details of the arrival of the baby as private as possible. And confusion reigned when a gushing Prince Harry revealed that he and his wife were now proud parents of a baby boy less than an hour after the palace said she was in labor. It was also widely understood that Meghan had wanted to give birth at home. But then, late on Monday, it broke out that in fact, Baby Sussex had been born at Portland Hospital in London. It has emerged tonight that the royal couple had traveled in secret from Windsor to the posh private hospital where the baby was delivered. Parents, accompanied by Meghan's mother, traveled in a two-car convoy with only a handful of people informed for the 40-minute journey into the capital. Escorted by Scotland Yard, they were able to slip into the hospital unnoticed and then exit in the same Details on the birth are yet to emerge. For instance, it's not known if labor was induced. But we do know a very healthy boy was born. Harry and Meghan are then claimed to have spent four hours at the hospital with their newborn child before the prince is believed to have contacted aides to tell them the happy news. The new parents in Doria then traveled back to Frogmore, where Harry is said to have got two hours sleep. Meanwhile, for reasons that aren't still clear, the palace released a statement that Meghan was in labor seven hours after the child was born. Then, less than 30 minutes later, Harry went to the stables at Windsor Castle for a prearranged TV interview where he confirmed the birth of his son. In the run-up to the birth, it was the consensus that Meghan and Harry wanted to have a home birth. According to reports, this is still believed to be the case. However, with the mum to be overdue, they were said to have started making other plans. It is claimed that the pair had started speaking to medical staff at Portland, as well as packing essentials. Then on Sunday evening, they are thought to have been taken into central London, but not under blue flashing lights for the birth to take place.